Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, I'm playing Dawn of Fire today. I'm still trying to catch up to my sister and I'm just about ready to go into level 40. So I thought I'd make a video just kind of showing you level 40 as I discovered level 40. But we're just going to talk about a few uh, basic things in the game of Dawn of Fire. Um, let's talk about breeding. Um... We're going to go here to shop. And this is where you'll see all the monsters that are available to place on your island. You can buy them with diamonds <clears throat> or you can breed them. Um, here, these guys, the single element monsters, they don't even have any breeding or hatching time. They just go right on to the island uh, for... 300 coins so they're really simple uh, to place but of course you have to level them up to level four to get them to breed but um, right now I'm so close to level uh, 40 I think I can do that just by buying Noggin a couple times and selling him I could feed him too that might be well, let's see, we're so close to level 40. Okay, and then we're going to sell him. <laughs> Even though I just leveled him up quite a bit. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to place him. Oh, what does he want now? A mushroom umbrella. Okay, and that took him up to, see, level 5. Yikes! And we're going to sell him. I'm going to do that again. So close. Sell him. Mattress, right. A tomato, okay. Now we'll sell him. Oh, um, well, what do you want now? Apothecary. Ooh, gosh. All right. Might have to keep you level seven now. Okay, I'm going to keep you. <gasps> level 40. Woohoo. String noodles. <laughs> String noodles. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got to take a picture of that. Okay. String noodles. All right, we unlocked level 40. And now he wants something else. Okay, might as well feed you since we're keeping you. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we've now reached level 40. Um, you'll notice that the islands are covered with obstacles, like the, the uh, rocks and the trees, and you can remove them for crystals. So if you aren't collecting crystals to make um, the bigger crystals then collect crystals and remove your obstacles i do a lot of um i create a lot of polished crystals which takes 10 of each of the crystals we find on the island so i do a lot of those um over here we can um i still have some trees to clear and you can clear a tree for one crystal Sometimes you get um, a seedling, and sometimes you get a diamond. Sometimes you get nothing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Isn't that something? Nope. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I've used up all my crystals. And here's one. Uh, these rocks take five, or all the rocks take five of the crystals from that island. Oh, and no diamonds. That's really strange. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, let's just kind of zoom in and see what's going on here. I'm teleporting my uh, fangler. I do have another fangler that I bred and that is hatching. In about five hours, we'll be done and ready to place on the island. I'm going to start teleporting more of my monsters. Here, I tried to breed a shell beet, but I'm getting another um, fog. 
let's go here to shop again. So um, here's your monsters that you can just place right on the island for 300 coins or diamonds. And that, you just place them right on the island. You don't have to breed them or hatch them. Um, <clears throat> if I wanted to breed a stog, I would use Noggin and Kana. Here's, where's Kana? Here's Kana. Did we pass Kana? Oh, probably up at the top. There's Kana. Kana's 300 coins. So we would use Noggin and Kana. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, same with any of the other monsters. Somebody asked me yesterday, how do I breed Repetillo? So you would use any monsters that are going to give you those three elements. So um, you could use Flower and Noggin. You could use Stog and Potbelly two combinations to breed a Repetillo. Shellbeat takes all four elements except for fire. So you would combine any monsters that would give you the, that combination. So a three element, let's see, what do we got here? Somebody that doesn't include fire. So Bogart or Pom Pom or Pummel. Nope, nope, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we don't want... What don't we want? Snow. No snow. So don't use a monster that's got snow as part of its elements. <clears throat> so, um, Pummel and um, Tweedle. That's what I did over here. Um, maybe that's it. Pummel and Tweedle. Okay, Pummel and Tweedle. Um, we can use Octopus and Quibble. That's also another good combination. Anyway, that's how you breed the monsters, just looking at the elements. The same that we do in our uh, first game, My Singing Monsters, the main My Singing Monsters game. And uh, so these are all the baby monsters. They're babies, and when we teleport them, they become adult monsters on the outer islands. <clears throat> so they're pretty darn cute, uh, these little baby monsters. Okay, um, up here we have the Wonder Mine. If you place a monster into the Wonder Mine, they come back with great treasures that you can't get any other way. Sometimes they'll bring back things that you can get, but they do. there are items in the Wonder Mine, but that's the only way that you can get them, like um, <clears throat> copper and uh, slime and the mushrooms, blue mushrooms, um, just to name a few of the items that come out of the mine. That's the only way you can get them. Uh, my castle is upgraded to the max. I don't have the opportunity for an upgrade right now. Hopefully they'll give us another upgrade so we can add more monsters to our island. Um, you see all my structures are busy making items. Typically are full and always creating stuff. This will just give you an idea of what's going on here. If I uh, tap on a monster, it tells me what I need to make this monster, or this ingredient. Or if I tap on, they call them crafting items. Okay, so if I wanted to make a polar teddy bear, I have two needles. I need two more of the wool. Oh, two more wool and one cotton and two ice in order to make a teddy bear. If I wanted to make another marionette, another puppet, I need two ropes, three of the uh, bamboo and... I have one cotton, which satisfies the cotton need for that one. But they're all busy baking, baking, 
getting ready to have a big sale this weekend. Um, what's going on in all my structures? Yeah, I'll get full of, I can collect three uh, sugar cane and put that in the sugar. Um, I can put more sugar over here. Oh, Waddle wants something. What do I have that you need? Oh, excellent. Okay, well, let's feed uh, Waddle. Excellent. Okay. Um, and here's just more of what's going on in some of my structures. Let me see. Busy baking stuff in all the structures. Um, here's my vault. It'll show you I have 82 items in my vault. Here's just a look at the 82 items I have right now. Some of them will be fed to my monsters. Majority of this that you see will be sold in my big sale this weekend. Um, <clears throat> um, what else should we talk about? Oh, here I'm busy making needles. It takes one uh, cactus to make a needle. And when I have needles, I can, uh, here I needed one more wool and I can make a scarf. So I'll do that, make a scarf. Here I need glitter. Um, I don't have that. I need two, um, two more cotton, one needle and two wool, which I don't have. So I'll wait on that. Um, oh, here's the market. We can buy things in the market. Um, sometimes we tap on it to buy it and it's sold already. And it's gone. Sometimes I just tap on items just to, I'm not gonna buy a scarf, I just uh, made one. Um, but sometimes when we tap on things, that item's gone, but they have other items that maybe you want. So it gives you a way to find items that maybe aren't being promoted in the market, but are there. So that's a quick, easy way to buy items in the market. <clears throat> Just keep tapping on items. And you may come across what you want. Every once in a while I scroll through here again. I do buy a lot of items that are like Wonder Mine items that the only way I can get them is uh, here in the market or um, so here's one of the seedlings. That's what you get uh, it, when you clear some of the obstacles are seedlings and then you can make decorations with seedlings. Um, yeah, let's go look at that. Here uh, in the workshop, you can do crafting items or you can do decorations. Just tap on the decorations and here's where you'll get to use some of your seedlings um, here for the small bush and here for the barnacle palm. So this just shows you the items that you can use for decorations. Sometimes you need to get rid of some items that you have in your vault and this is a great quick way to um, add decorations to your island but um, using up some decorate or items, crafting items that you don't need. Yeah, so these are the decorations. I'm anxious to see this one. Level 47, so that's exciting. Okay, so this is the crafting items here in the workshop. This is where we make the copper trumpet. Oh, and we've got a stroller coming up, level 46. So, oh, our noodles, our noodles are, where are our noodles? Here, I think. Yes, we can make noodles now. What do we need for noodles? Four grain and three, oh my goodness. <laughs> three ropes. Wow. Wow. Ropes take an hour to make. I better make another rope. And then I'll try and make some <laughs> noodles. <laughs> Funny. Um, oops, I just collected. A crystal. I do collect a lot of crystals and like I said I create a lot of um, 
polished crystals. Here, I'll just collect that one. If I tap on this, this is my jeweler. That's the structure called the jeweler. If I tap on this, it tells me how many I have and how many I need. So I have three and I need 10. Um, so yeah, just tap on your items. Just go exploring, see what's inside your uh, structures. But that's how I create um, all the crystals. <clears throat> crystals are what we need to help upgrade our castles. So jewelers are very important for upgrading uh, purposes. I need one ice cube and I can make a coconut cheesecake. Or um, a, a cactus, I mean, cheesecake. There we go. Okay. Desert sand, desert salad. I call it desert sand. Desert salad. Uh, three cactus and one more sand. So I'm waiting for sand to finish here in another 22 minutes and I can make one of those. But. Um, all right, well, that's um, just kind of a little bit about Dawn of Fire and the main island. Uh, we'll talk about those other islands next time, next video that we do when we teleport the monsters, they go to outer islands. Oops. As we level up, we have new sections of the main continent that are exposed. Oh, there's my, I better move him over there with the others, huh? I'll have to teleport my other noggin because he's maxed out. He's ready to go somewhere as soon as my teleporter is empty. Um, if I tap on uh, the diamonds here, I can buy diamonds and they are on sale right now. You get 30% more. I think these diamond little creatures Structures are so darn cute. I love them. Um, if I tap on coins, here's the coins. I love this coin structure. Look at his tongue hanging out there. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so we can buy coins or uh, diamonds um, to help us uh, hasten our game a little bit. Just looking around the island, kind of just showing you around the island here. Pretty cool, great sound. I have my uh, Flomox in the Wonder Mine right now. So this is where he was. <laughs> That's what you see this little <laughs> placeholder for him when your monster is in the Wonder Mine. If a monster has um, is asking for something that I know that's impossible or I'm not going to be able to uh, give them copper or give them a glittery scarf, I will tell them um, a new order. Here's one that wants copper, and copper is just ridiculously hard to come by, so I'm just going to say new order. The rest of these I have a good possibility of completing their orders. Uh, so far that we're looking here. Oh, this one here. Ha! Look, I just need, uh, I had a popsicle. I gave it to somebody else because I'm contemplating uh, selling this uh, trumpet in the market sale that I'm having this weekend. Or I may feed uh, him and get, uh, you know, 4,000 coins, close to 4,000 coins. So I haven't quite decided that yet. This guy wants a mattress. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to give him a mattress or if I'll sell a mattress. Susan wants a log. Let's give her a log. <clears throat> and now she wants these items. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, being with me when I took my island to level 40. And I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.